Mouse acceleration is simply when your mouse pointer is influenced by the speed of your physical motion. If you've seen any basic aim guides, you'll know the first two things you're told is to first disable Windows Mouse Acceleration or Enhanced Pointer Precision and turn off any mouse acceleration options in game. This caused the larger gaming community to have a negative view of Mouse Excel, but that wasn't always the case. These are the top 12 players of QuakeCon 2010. As you can see, most of them actually used Mouse Acceleration. So what happened? Why do people now see Mouse Excel as something that will make it impossible to play at a high level, ruin your aim, and kill your dog? Well, it's really the fault of the software available. Quick Live had an amazing implementation of Mouse Acceleration, with many options and a lot of consistency. You could set a straight linear curve, set speed caps, and make it complement your aim. If we compare that to Source Engine Games implementation, it's night and day. Source Excel did not have many ways to change your curve, and on top of that, it was tied to your frame rate. While there were a few notable CS pros that used it, your cursor moving faster with a fluctuation of frames is definitely part of why it's disliked. But the biggest culprit of bad press for Mouse Excel is the Windows Pointer Precision option. It came out in the late 90s as a pretty good solution for a problem, which was office workers struggling to move around the screen with a 400 dpi mouse and a tiny mouse pad. The problem is, it's not really suitable for gaming. It has many strange quirks, and the curve looks something like this. But Mouse Excel can be really useful if set up right. If you set it up with a third party program, it won't mess up your aim at all and can even help certain aspects of it, depending on how you choose your options. As for your precious muscle memory, look, you're not memorizing the distance between two things. Your body is getting a feel for how to move the mouse and how it behaves. So in short, you'll be fine. Stop being a baby. Some of the best aimers in the world can switch sensitivity every two minutes or play with a sensitivity randomizer and still do fine. So here are some use cases for mouse acceleration. In tactical FPS games, like Valorant or Counter-Strike, the gameplay revolves around holding corners, taking map control, and aiming mostly with knowledge and crosshair placement. Most kills will be a small flick from where your cursor already is, so people tend to use a pretty low sensitivity. The problem that comes from doing this is that you can't turn around as fast. Movement in general will be way harder, and speed and aiming might be an issue for you too. Well, you could add some acceleration, be able to do a 180 with ease, but still have the precision to click on those heads. In arena FPS games, you kind of have to be the master of many things, which is probably why Excel was so popular in those games in the first place. You hold all the weapons in the game at the same time. Everything from close range tracking guns to the rail and even the rocket. Excel can allow you to use those weapons in the way you want. With a single static sensitivity, it can be hard for you to shoot a pixel perfect rail than a rocket jump 180 into tracking somebody. It's not impossible at all, but Excel can just make it easier for you. I think Excel also has some use in MOBA games. In fact, the notorious professional ELO booster banned on Korean servers for a thousand years and all around badass, considered one of the best players ever, Apto uses the Windows mouse acceleration, which we already discussed as a bad option. A lot of MOBA players use high DPI, because the games don't quite take the fine precision of FPS games, and a high DPI lets you control the screen and camera with ease. But the best way to control your character is to click close to it, allowing you to respond and dodge as fast as possible. Why not try some acceleration? You can have the speed to control the camera and things far away from you without giving up your uber micro. Basically, mouse acceleration is just an extra level of customization that you can use to tailor your game to you. 
So, mouse Excel has had a resurgence recently. Lots of people are trying it or hearing about it. Why? The reason, again, is the software. There's a few programs made by some really smart, dedicated gamers that allow you to make any kind of mouse Excel curve that you would want. And it isn't tied to frames or anything like that. One of the best ones right now is called Raw Excel. It's completely permitted to use in any game, and you won't be wrongfully detected by any cheat software. I've been talking about all the benefits of Mouse Excel, but I think there's a few notable downsides too. For me, it was a little bit harder to be consistent with it. Like, I never felt like I was, it was bad to have on, but in general, I think it made easier shots a little harder and harder shots a little easier. There's a ton of options. If you're someone that just likes to set and forget your settings, Mouse Excel might not be for you. This video could have been much, much longer, but I didn't want to talk about math and human anatomy I don't fully understand myself. It takes fine tuning, dedication, and to be one with the Excel, but it's your own personal quest. It has to be designed around you and your needs. So should you use mouse acceleration? I don't know, if you want.